and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to prepare a super quick and easy Swedish princess cake. I'm gonna be using all the shortcut ingredients and even baking the cake in the instant pot. So let's get started. Start off by preparing the cake mix. Follow the directions on the back of the box. The only substitution I'm doing is instead of adding the amount of water it calls for, I always use either yogurt or sour cream. This takes your box cake mix to a whole other level. It's gonna add structure and richness to your cake. For those of you new here on my channel, I post unique recipes weekly. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Now, since I'm gonna be using the Instapot today, I'm gonna be using two grease and flour six inch cake pans. If you guys wanted to use your Ninja Foodie air fryer to bake these, be sure to check out the link at the end of this video. Add two cups of water to the inserter with a little rack, cover the cakes with foil, and pressure cook them for 20 to 25 minutes. If you're using a normal oven, the baking times for the size cake pans will be listed down below in the description box. Okay, so while that's cooking, go ahead and prepare a small three ounce box of vanilla pudding mix with two cups of cold milk. After it's all mixed up well, pop it into the fridge to firm and follow thereafter with your whipped cream. This is 16 ounces of cold heavy cream. It's gonna be lightly sweetened with two tablespoons of powdered sugar. The powdered sugar is also gonna stabilize this whipped cream and prevent it from becoming all flat and runny once it's on your cake. Once it's all whipped up into nice firm peaks, immediately stop mixing and pop it back into the fridge with the pudding. Okay, so by this time your cakes should be ready. Quick release the steam and carefully remove the cakes. This is how they look. Don't worry if they look a little funky because anyways, you're gonna remove the top layer to level each cake. Pressure cooking a cake for me is like one of the weirdest things ever. It's not that I don't recommend it, it's just not really traditional in my book, but it still works, so hey, if you wanna do it, go for it. Since I'm in a hurry, this is gonna go straight into the freezer to cool quickly, and now it's time to assemble this Swedish princess cake. Cut out a sturdy cardboard base for your cake and tape the bottom so that the cake won't be sliding around while you're assembling it. Add the first layer and add a good amount of raspberry jam. Make sure that it has the seeds because it had such a nice touch to this delicate cake. Once it's all evenly layered all the way to the edges of the cake, follow with the vanilla pudding. Now you're gonna have some leftover pudding, so just snack on it later or add it to your morning coffee, which is delish. Add the second layer of cake, and this time I'm adding all of that heavenly, lightly sweetened whipped cream. Work carefully here. Be sure to get it all the way down the edges, covering every nook and cranny of the cake, and finish it off by creating a dome shape on top. The nice part about Princess Cake is how it's covered in marzipan so it doesn't have to look perfectly frosted. Now once it's ready, pop it into the fridge. While you roll out the marzipan, this is 14 ounces. Marzipan is just pretty much ground up almonds with sugar. So you can find it in your baking section of your grocery store. Make sure to squeeze the package a little to make sure it's nice and soft. Color the dough with whatever food coloring you like. Today I kept it traditional with this beautiful green. You're gonna need to dust the work surface with a little powdered sugar because it is very sticky. Roll the dough out about a half an inch thick. Try not to go too thin because the marzipan will tear. Now once you have the size plus the height of your cake, you're gonna go ahead and roll it up, removing any of the excess powdered sugar and carefully layer it onto your assembled cake. If you find the marzipan is folding along the edges, simply lift it back out and gently press it back onto the cake. Be patient here and work with one side at a time. Trim off any of the excess and use it to make a flower for the top if you please. And you guys, this cake is ready to enjoy. Use a wet brush to give it a little shine and take off any of the remaining powdered sugar along the edges. As you may see in the bakeries, this cake always has the lightest touch of powdered sugar just on top. It usually costs around $40 to $50 to buy, but not today because we made this cake for around $15. I've never had any other dessert as unique as this cake. All the flavors accompany each other so well, it's just unbelievable. The tender cake with a tart raspberry gets balanced out with the smooth vanilla custard and earthiness of the chewy almond marzipan. The delicate light and airy whipped cream wraps everything together. It makes this dessert, I dare to say, one of the best creations ever. 